Do I beat you? This hard. And I know it involves pricking the finger and all. But that doesn't bother me anymore. Many people prefer to use the freestyle sensor on their arm. But not me. It's literally pinned in. Great. Now we're talking about the sensors being pinned into our arms. Like, this is how they actually do it. They take the freestyle labour sensor. Like, this is, this is my pouch. The freestyle Libra sensor came with this thing to check my blood levels. I know many people prefer to use that sensor on their arm where they go beep beep and it tells you the sugars. But I just can't do that. Like, I am... I remember we got it done in this arm before, but it was really sore and I after the past two days and i I start crying for hours and but it didn't really I was crying for hours and eventually my brother got sick and tired. Oh, take it over arm, she's annoying me crying, so they had to get it. I said I'm able to do the blood sugar levels by pricking the finger, but my mum suggested to get another one in the arm. But that arm oh, preferred... I mean, this arm actually seemed to hurt worse than the other one after the two days. And it left me with a huge scar there, see? That red dot is where the centre used to be. And it's been there since before Christmas. <sighs> Great. It's leaving me with a permanent scar, like, after we went to the doctor, like, after about two days, I would just, I would just cry for hours and hours, and my mom was like, we just put the sensor in, what is the problem? Like, I would, I would scream, it's killing me, and I want to take it out, and my mom was like, we just put it in, what is the problem? And I'm like, it hurts, it hurts, it's killing me, it's killing me, I can't take it. She would put like ice on it and stuff and nothing would help. My mum's been taking me to the doctor when I've been crying and going, what's wrong with her? Why is it hurting her so much? The doctor was just saying, like, she just said, people tend to be dramatic and they just tend to make excuses just to take it out because they're not used to being like, it feels uncomfortable. And my mum's like, it's got to be more than that. Like, you don't, cry like that for nothing like for a long time Helen's been waiting for us to come back to see her and get a new sensor in the arm but we never did because we are never getting that sensor in my arm again the freestyle labour sensor can cause an infection after a while and serious irritation and they thought it would be better for me but nope they spoke too soon. I'd rather just take the finger prick where it's just a little tiny bit of blood on the finger and it used to hurt a lot at first. That was until I got the sensor in my arm and it gave me a dead arm. Look, like, look how big, look at that scar. Like, that is very bad. Like, a labour sensor shouldn't leave a scar like that. And that used to be a very deep one too. Like, it just felt like big needles were being jabbed into my arm. Like, it hurt from the inside and out. I already have a scar on my belly from an injection. Right there. See that big bruise? My mum and dad stuck it in too far that time. And now it's really killing me. Like, I can't do injections. Many people are begging me to get the COVID-19 injection, but I just can't do it. Ever since the day I... After since the day I got the swine flu vaccine when I was only nine years old, a lot of people were scared to get it, including me, and they said I should be the first one to go in, but... They said it's not going to hurt. It'll only feel like a pinch. But no, it didn't feel like a pinch at all. 
It felt like a steel needle going through my skin, and that's what it was. And I was screaming in pain, and and everybody, I screamed so loud that everybody could hear me from outside the room. I was crying so loud that nobody could get a word through. And I know I'm 20 now, but I was only 9 at the time. But, I, but ever since, I'm just too afraid to get another injection. And my dad came to me a few moments later saying, I am very disappointed in you. You disrupted the clinic and wasted a whole day of injections. Like, everybody was too scared to get the injection after that. They were crying too. And Dad said everyone was very upset. They were a day behind schedule. So I had disrupted the clinic and wasted an important day of injections. That's why he said, I am never getting another injection again. And I said, I'm never getting another injection again. But if anybody has the same issue, like... Have you guys ever had the same diabetic issue with this sensor and had it ever given you a scar? You should probably leave a comment down below and tell me. Because I don't know if it's, if anybody else with diabetes have had pain like this. Like, I was just crying for hours. So, they just got fed up of hearing me crying so they just took it out. And if my sugars go too low, like, I can't wear medical masks on my face because I have breathing difficulties now. It gives me, like, I do be hyperventilating with the masks on. And sometimes, one time when I was out with my friend Caitlin Darling before Christmas, I couldn't breathe. And I fainted because I couldn't breathe. And Hor and Patrick were panicking and so they took me off the bus and brought me into the ILAC. And then when they took the mask down, I woke up and I checked my blood sugars and they were only 2.2. I pricked my finger and they were only 2.2. That's very bad. And Caitlin was like, oh my God, that is really bad. Oh my God, we need to get you something to eat right away. So, Hor and Patrick got me a Big Mac meal and a strawberry milkshake to bring my sugar levels back up. And it worked. And my key walker Amanda, well, in college, I, I'd i prefer wearing the shield, but it's just not good enough for Amanda and the stuff in the CRC. They say, they're just too dramatic, they're drama queens. They say, put a real mask on or you'll give us COVID-19. But I can't wear it. I, I have a special drink called a glucose shot, berry flavour. And I also have these too, orange flavoured vitamin C's that can raise my sugar levels. Like, it was just a good job I had this. Like, if they're only a little bit low, I can take these. If they're very low, like they were when I was with Caitlin, I'd have to take a berry flavoured glucose drink and drink it all down in one go. But checking my blood sugars, I realised with the pinprick is not so bad after all. It, it comes with this little needle that I can just put into the yolk. So here's the freestyle labour yolk. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says apply blood. And here's the finger pricker. I, I, have, it, I have it set on number two. So I'll show you. Watch. Just get all the blood down into my arm. One, two, three. And there it goes. Tore down. They're pretty high, but it's all right. See how quick that was? Only It only felt like a little pinprick. Because that's basically what it is. And I do that all the time now. I don't need that sensor anymore. Because it's basically, you just press that button and it's all over. See? So I'm managing my diabetes very well. I don't eat sugar anymore. I don't eat jellies. Besides, I found a special sugar-free chocolate called Choco Low in Aldi. 
and it comes in milk or dark and never raises my blood sugars. So yeah, I'm getting along. I don't need that sensor anymore. Like, I don't think you should try it if you have pain issues. Like, it could damage your skin. You could end up like me, crying for hours. And if you have breathing difficulties, kind of like me, try just wear a face shield instead of a mask and just try make your parents tell people off. Oh well, that's pretty old and much there is to say, so hopefully my arm gets better. At least I can do this now.